Hi friends, it's Tuesdays with Tanya. I'm Tanya here with My County Link, and today's episode is brought to you by Brendan King, sales associate with Wetzel Honda. And today's episode, we're going to be with the Gettysburg Fire Department, and I'm here with Chief Tom Hill. So we're going to turn around and ask him a couple questions. They've got some training that they're doing down here, and they're going to be doing an entrapment, like a like a fake type entrapment of a bin. So if somebody was to fall, like farmers and so forth, just fall into a bin, they're going to learn um, ways that they can save them. So we're going to video that a little bit longer a little bit later here but let me turn around and let's talk to chief hill and learn some things about today oh hello how are you today i'm good how are you so tell us you're the, you're the chief at the fire department mr tom hill so we call him chief hill today how long have you been with the fire department i've been with the fire department for 30 32 years 32 years and today you're out here doing what today we're out here practicing grain bin rescue uh we've received a donation from pioneer seeds to purchase a grain bin rescue tube and with that came uh, training, so the gentleman from the company is here today to uh, show us how to use our tube and actually do a rescue in a grain bin simulation. Okay, so how long has training been today, would you say, so far? Uh, training started at 9, um, so it'll probably be another couple hours till we're done. So it's probably about a four-hour, five-hour training. Okay, very good. Stay with me. We're going to actually get to go and watch a little bit of how they do that, and we're going to do some video of that. So keep staying with me here. Sure, you don't have anything in your pockets that might fall out and get caught in the grain. For a real event, if you're climbing up to the top of the silo over there, when you put that harness on, you should be taking all the crap out of your pockets anyway because if you get suspended in the harness, keys, pocket knives, whatever. Kind of. Well, a nice dry corner didn't take that long. <laughs> now, some of you guys know him better. Uh, yeah, you know what's coming. If you ever have an instructor teach you the wrong way to do something to make a point, I want you to stand up here and jump in that corner. And I don't mean step in, I mean hop in there. Like, you take your shoes on first. If all else fails, yeah, once we dump the trailer, you'll find them. But. Stay right. We'll see how well these work. Now, who's going to have an easier time working in there? Yeah, Victim, what'd you feel when he got in there? Pressure, but it was all up high. Didn't go down to my leg. Because we're dispersing his weight. Now it's important to make sure we keep the victim's rope inside the tube and the others out. Now don't, yeah, don't be skinning him. You can leave a little gap. Make sure it's nice and square behind him though. That's way deep. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have a problem with this corn. Now without the handles like on mine, and just always remember as we're building this, we're shooting for a circle, right? So, yeah, you got that. Good job. Again, you can see that one was kind of the fighter. Now, I honestly would have stayed right where you were. Stay, stay, stay right here. Save you some do -si dough. Now, on a real bin, we could go all the way around this, no problem. For the purposes of this, I just try to save you from going back and forth. Again, we take that step. Step the side for me for a second. Again, if the victim's got a leg kicked out or something, we can find that out a lot easier. Because, victim, what did you feel when they were pushing these in? I felt pressure. Yeah. So we don't want to get too crazy too fast. Nice job, guys. may actually go in there easier without those steps on it. But the next parts are... Look at that. Nice job, guys. I, that's going to get it. That'll get it right there. Now, a couple things I'm going to tell you. Usually, I want the front three even, but if I've got a side lower in the with those front three, I'm always going to put that auger on the lowest panel I got. Left and that's where we've got to talk to that victim. 
Well, if you want to get in here and take pictures, feel free. Yes. And when you hand tighten it on there, it's like a USB drive. There's one way to do it, and it'll take you three tries. Good. Good. Tough. Yep. And I hope that is a brushless drill. Yeah, it's fuel. Yeah. All or nothing. Go. Don't don't feather it. Just go. about where he's at in there. Hold on. No, 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 no. In front of him. Because I would move the arm. That the important thing again is what he does with his feet. I want those tiptoes and just baby steps on his tiptoes. And he'll walk himself right up on top of that. Now I guess with having this step, can we always put that step on the inside? You could. Now it's not gonna do him any good when he's still in the grain. No, but I mean, he's up on top of it now. Yeah, now it might. Now, before you do that, before you do that, get that panel in front of him out of there. It might take both of you. It might take all three of you because you don't have the cool handles that will help give you leverage. Right. Don't kill yourself. Work together. Work together. Work together. You ready, Big Grant? Oh. Put that bar in there. Get it tight. What's fighting you is that joint on that side is flat. That one there? Yep. That's what's fighting you. Right. <laughs> Keep lifting straight up is the best you're going to get. Yeah, you stay up on that milk crate, and it'll keep you up out of that grain enough so you won't get trapped again. You've got to be pushing 13 feet, isn't you? Come on out, Hoff. Well, see, just having that milk crate down there, he's still got some grain around him. When I got those steps... We can get them all the way up out of the grain. They could even climb out the top with that. But that's... Wasn't that cool? So they're learning how they can help a victim if they were to be entrapped inside of a grain bin. So this was a training. So they were learning. So the instructor was still teaching them. So... Um, you might have heard him correct different things and so forth that they were doing. That's just because today's their training process and they're learning this. So he was able to give them some tips and stuff in a safe environment. So that way, when they do have to, hopefully they never do. But if they ever have to go on a call like this, they're going to be prepared. So they're going to be trading out and doing some more training with all the... Um, firefighters here today so they'll be exchanging different people will be the um the mock victim and then the different ones will do the rescue part of it so keep staying with me as we keep visiting people places and things and again this episode is brought to you by brendan king sales associate with wetzel honda in richmond indiana we'll see you next time